Owing is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 22nd, 1972, in Los Angeles. Translation At the time loving service is established in the heart, the modes of passion, rajas, and ignorance, tamas, and lust and desire, karma, disappear from the heart. Then the devotee is established in goodness and he becomes happy. So, Rajasthama Bhava, there are three stages. You know, Shakta Rajasthama, the material world is uh, conducted by three uh, modes, the modes of goodness, modes of passion, and modes of ignorance. Therefore we find varieties on them. Uh, so one has to come to the platform of the modes of goodness, just like illiterate, illiterate uncultured, uh, animal like man is trained up to come to become uh, civilized. Uh, by training it is possible. Just like by training even cats and dogs and tigers, they are also become obedient. That is our practical experience. Uh, the tiger in the circus they play obediently to the orders of the master. So, by training, uh, it can be possible. But there are two kinds of training process. One uh, process is scheduled. Tapasā brahma charjīna samīna dhamīna vā undergoing tapasya, austerity, brahmacharjina, brahmacharjina means uh, controlling uh, sex indulgence or sex impulse. Brahmacharjina means practically no sex life. Tapasya, brahmacharjina, samena, damena, uh, by controlling the senses, by controlling the mind, uh, Tyagena, by giving up in charity. Uh, so there are uh, gradual process. Uh, but um, there is another process. Another process means uh, this Krishna consciousness. Uh, either you practice in this way, just like if you want to go up, there are two vehicles or process. You go step by step, one step after another. Suppose you have to go one hundred steps, so you have to go step by step, tapasāvarma chajjīna, samīna, samīna, practicing. The another process is why I am making this time. Stop it. Uh, another process is the lift. You go by step by step, or take the uh, process of lift. Within a second you come up. So the bhakti-yoga process is like that. Uh, bhakti-yoga process means if you take to this uh, process, then immediately, very quickly, within a second, you come to the top row. Uh, otherwise, you have to go by step by step, one step, two step. Uh, although both the process leading to the target, to the topmost floor, the one is very slow and the other is very quick, immediate. 
Just like another example, if there is fog, you have got experience in your country. Sometimes there is fog. You cannot see uh, even uh, a person one yard off from you. Uh, so there are so many processes to take precaution in the fog. But somehow or other, if the sun is little strong, immediately the fog is over. So similarly, to purify ourselves, this is the purification process, austerity, penance, uh, controlling sex life, controlling the mind, controlling the senses, giving in charity whatever you possess, uh, uh, everything regularity, this is one process. And the other process is this bhakti yoga. Sinatang sakata krishna punna savana kītana riddhanta sthaya vadhrāṇi. Vidunati says, simply by this process, savanam kītana, hearing about Krishna. Uh, this is we are discussing. Nasta prāyasu avadri, simply by hearing. Avadri is nasta prāyasu, all the dirty things within heart. Uh, being almost clean, uh, uh, you come to the stage of goodness. Uh, there are three stages, three platforms, ignorance, passion, and goodness. So simply by hearing about Krishna, you are promoted immediately to the platform of goodness. And as soon as you come to the platform of goodness, then tada, at that time, rajasthamo bhava, because there are three platforms, ignorance, passion, and goodness. So you have come to the point, to the platform of goodness, means that you have passed over the other lower stages. That if you have come to the uh, college, that means you have passed your school stage. It is to be understood. Oh. Therefore we offer sacred thread. The idea is one who has become Krishna conscious, he has already passed this stage of becoming a Brahmin. Uh, Brahmin means to come to the stage of goodness. Uh, that is Brahman. Uh, Chatriya means to remain on the stage of passion. Vaisya means to remain on the stage of mixture, passion and ignorance. And Sudra means to remain on the stage of ignorance. There are four divisions of the three modes. So when we come to the stage of becoming a devotee, uh, that means we have already passed all these lower stages. Tadara Jastamo Bhava. So what are the symptoms of goodness? Kamalubhadayastaji. Lusty. Uh, lust and greediness. The whole world is moving by lust and greediness. This is the stage of ignorance and passion. Those who are embarrassed with the lower qualities of material nature, they are embarrassed with two things, lust, not satisfied, and greedy and low. Uh, give me more, give me more, give me more. Uh, give me everything. It's not satisfied. With the whole world, you see, uh, they, sometimes they think that if I get my income, say one thousand dollars, I will be satisfied. But as soon as he gets one thousand, he wants one hundred thousand. 
If you just want to just take in your everywhere, all over the world, the worker class, uh, they are given increment, but again they undergo go strike more, more wages, more wages, more wages. Uh, so, but as soon as they get more money, not only here in these Western countries, then they will utilize it for lust, lust and greediness. That's all. They do not know how to utilize money. Uh, that a millionaire is so lusty, we have seen in Paris, they are going to some clubs. Uh, what is the business in that club? Old men, they are going so lusty that they enter the club by paying fifty dollars. And then there is young woman and wine, and that is their place. Lust. Kamalubhala is still. One thing, one side, they are not satisfied. Even they have got millions of dollars. Still I want, still I want, still I want. This is one side, greediness, low work, and the other side is lust. This is called Kamalu Bhagavastri. So, uh, to become Krishna conscious means immediately, that is the test. Immediately he will become free from lust and greediness. If he is not free from lust and greediness, he is making a soul. He is not Krishna conscious. This is the test. If one is actually advancing Krishna consciousness, then these two symptoms will be visible in his character. No more lusty, uh, no more greediness. Uh, he should be satisfied with one wife or one husband. Uh, Why hankering after others? That is lusty. That means it is not on the stage of Krishna consciousness. It is in the material platform. These are the tests. Uh, Therefore, we advise our students, voluntarily you try or you become free from these things, illicit sex, uh, uh, intoxication, meat-eating, and gambling. Uh, because indulging in these four things, you will remain in darkness. Uh, so voluntarily you have to try to give up these bad habits, and at the same time, to maintain yourself on the platform, you have to chant sixteen nouns. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. This is the process. Tadara Jastamo Bhava, Kamulu Bhava Then the result will be this. Cheta Etai Ramavidyam. Because that. Maya is attacking it. It is Vivichisa Gunamai Mamma Maya Durutaya Gunamai. Guna means these qualities, the three modes of nature. Uh, the material nature is Gunamai. Uh, uh, Gunamai means involved or full of these three modes of material nature. Gunamai. Uh, Maya means just like golden. It is smeared with gold. Uh, or it is gold. Uh, you can you can say golden. Golden means it is made of gold or it is covered with gold glittering. Similarly, this Maya, this material nature is made of these three modes of nature. Therefore it is called gunamai. Uh, gunamai, another meaning of guna is rope. Uh, just like you have seen rope, 
there are three layers, uh, and they are twisted very strong, and since rock becomes strong, so similarly, these three gunas, these three modes of nature, twisted like rope, and we are bound up. You cannot get out. Devidhi sāguna-mai mamamāyā gurattaya If your hands and legs are tied with such rope, then it is very difficult. Similarly, we are all bound up. We are declaring freedom and so many things, nonsense we are speaking, but we have forgotten that we are under the grip of this māyā. Immediately, you can be overcome by māyā. Māyā is so strong. So therefore, by this process, sinna-dhāṁ sakatā kṛṣṇa purna-sravana kīrta riddhanta-tyā-vadrāṇi vidhūnati sīsatā nashta-prāyesu avadrīśu nittaṁ bhāgavata-sīvaya. This is the process. Nitta, deal, all twenty-four hours by studying Srivana Bhagavatam or associating with devotees, Bhagavata Sivaya, hmm? uh, Bhakti, Bhagavati Uttama Sloki, Bhakti Bhavati Nashtiki. Then the Supreme Personality of God is Bhagavati Uttama Sloki. Bhakti Bhavati Nidhi, devotional service becomes strong and fixed. Simply by this process, hearing. There is no necessity of education or PhD degree. Simply, God has given you this years and hear. Sinnatha. Hear about Krishna from their life soul. This process will make you to be situated on the platform of goodness. And as soon as you are promoted to the platform of goodness, that means you have already uh, surpassed the other two platforms, means ignorance. And the symptom will be, the, that is clear here, the symptom is that the two things, uh, lust and greediness will not disturb you. You haven't got to take certificate from anyone. Just give me certificate that I have become a Krishna conscious. You take your certificate yourself. See yourself. Whether you are free from lust and greediness. That's the certificate. If you are confident that I am free from lust and greediness, then I am making progress. Otherwise, I am again in the same. No progress. This is test. This is test. If we want to cheat others, that is different thing. That I have become very advanced in Krishna consciousness. That is another thing, cheating. But you test yourself by this process. Whether you are free from lust and greediness. This is the test. And when you become free from these two things, lust and greediness, tada ceta itayana vidya sthitam sati prasidati. Ceta, consciousness, not being attacked by these two nonsense things, ignorance and passion. Chita yeti sarana vidhyam. Vidhyam means pierce. They are always pierce, pinching, pinching. Oh, come on, come on. They are pinching. But if you are actually situated in Krishna consciousness, these things will not pinch you. Tada! Cheta eta ira, because everything is in the heart, whole thing is cleansing the heart. So heart is being pinched. Oh, here is, I am beautiful boy, I am beautiful girl, why not come? But this is pinching. 
So the, if you are actually situated on the platform of Krishna consciousness, not fully, uh, little advanced, then these things will be visible. Tadachita itai anavidyam. And when you stop, when you are able to stop this pinching in your heart by these two modes of material nature, passion and greediness, chita itai anavidyam sita satte prasidati. Proceeded, then you become joyful. Oh. That is the stage of joyfulness. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasojati Natankati Sama Sarvesu Bhutesu Madhvakti Ravati Panao. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. When you have come to this status, joyful, no more pinching by these two modes of material nature. Uh, Jayapur, that is called Brahma Bhuta state, the platform of liberation. So, the next stage is Brahma Bhuta. So, Brahma Bhuta state means na subhujati, na tankati, no more hankering, no more demanding, na subhujati, na tankati, because here the business is. We hanker after something which we do not possess. And uh, if we lose something which we possess, then we lament. This is our business. Some, first, first of all, we possess. Then by nature we lose it. When it is lost, then we cry. So these two things are material position. Not so true. But when you come to the Brahma Bhuta state, Spiritual platform, that these two things will be absent. Na sojati, na kaangati, samas sarveshu bhuteshu. Then you will be able to see everyone on the spiritual platform. Pandita samadarsina, then you are learned. You are seeing the cats and dogs and a human being, a learned man. Because you don't see the dress, outward covering, tabernacle. But you see, here is a spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna. That is universal brother. Not by passing resolution in the United Nations and fighting. That is not possible. You have to come to the stage of spiritual platform. Then there is question of love, brotherhood, equality, fraternity, otherwise all bogus provided. It's not possible. Samas sarvi subhuti su madhavakti lavate parao. Then real, pure devotion and service begins. Then we become completely fit to serve Krishna. Krishna accepts your service at that time. This is the process. But if we follow the rules and regulation given by spiritual master, shastra, then uh, gradually, gradually, therefore we should be very careful, we should be very cautious that uh, māyā may not uh, attack us, because she is always ready to attack rajasthama uh, bhāvā. Even in goodness also, Maya, there is Maya. Therefore, in the material platform, even goodness is not pure. Therefore, there is another stage which is called Suddha Satya. Goodness is Satya, Satya There is another stage. Uh, transcendental stage, which is called Suddha Satya. Satyam Visuddham Vasudeva Samditam. That is called Vasudeva stage. And in the, in the Vasudeva stage, Vasudeva Krishna appears. You can see Krishna. Uh, not that uh, rascal inviting everyone, come on, I shall show you God, I shall show you God. Uh, 
and some rascals are going there to see God. God is not so cheap. Uh, one has to qualify himself to see God. These are the processes. What is the purpose? A living being in his normal constitutional position is fully satisfied in spiritual bliss. This state of existence is called Brahma-bhūta or Atmanandi, or the state of self-satisfaction. This self-satisfaction is not like the satisfaction of the inactive fool. The inactive fool is in the state of foolish yeah, it's ignorance. Like a cat and dog is sitting silently. Very good man. That kind of inactivity is useless. Rather, one who is devotee is very active to serve Krishna. How shall I serve Krishna more and more? How shall I advance this Krishna consciousness moment? Uh, that activity, you see. Not sitting idly, I have become Krishna conscious. Uh, go on. The inactive fool is in the state of foolish ignorance, whereas the self satisfied Atmanandi is transcendental to the material state of existence. This stage of perfection is attained as soon as one is fixed up in irrevocable devotional service. Devotional service is not inactivity, but the unalloyed activity of the soul. So, this is, this is the activity of the soul. Uh, you stop the activity of the body, of the mind, then you must uh, be engaged in the activity of the soul. Where actually the soul is active, not this body and mind. Uh, uh, this, as soon as the soul is out of this body, there is no activity. So the real source of activity is coming from the soul. So how it is that uh, after one becomes liberated, he becomes inactive? That is the theory of the Mahavad. The Real activity begins there. Uh, here we are active. Uh, we have got so many impediments uh, offered by the mind and the body. And when you actually come to the platform of soul, that is liberated position, the activity should be very nice and very polished, very advanced. Mm. Yeah. The soul's activity becomes adulterated in contact with matter, and as such the diseased activities are expressed in the form of lust, desire, hankering, inactivity, foolishness, and sleep. The effect of devotional service becomes manifest by complete elimination. Sleep and inactivity is a sign of ignorance. The more we are inactive and sleepy, that means we are in the mode of ignorance. And passion means activity for sense enjoyment. And goodness means free from the inactivity of ignorance and the activity of passion, but to see things as they are, oh, I am eternal servant of God. So my action should be to serve God. That is good. Uh, these, these are these things. When one is inactive, uh, lazy, sleeping, that means ignorance. When one is very active, for sense enjoyment, it is passion. And when one is neither active like the uh, sense gratifiers, nor uh, sitting idly like the ignorant, but he is trying to engage himself in Krishna consciousness service, that is goodness. And one is actually serving Krishna, that is transcendental platform, liberated. Then. The effect of devotional service becomes manifest by complete elimination of these effects of passion and ignorance. The devotee is fixed at once in the mode of goodness, and he makes further progress to rise up to the position of Vasudeva or the state of unmixed sattva or shuddha sattva, in, or shuddha sattva state. In this shuddha sattva state only can one always see Krishna eye to eye by dint of pure affection for the Lord. 
A devotee is always in the mode of unalloyed goodness, therefore he harms no one. But the non-devotee, however educated he may be, is always harmful. A devotee is neither foolish nor passionate. The harmful, foolish, and passionate cannot be devotees of it. It is said, Manina bhusita sattva kima sauna bhayankara. Snake. Some snakes are decorated with jewel on the hood. So, this materialist have a qualified he may be, just like jewel on the head. The Shastra said, do you think that a snake coming to you with a jewel on the head is not dangerous? That fellow says. He is as dangerous, as ferocious as the serpent without jewel. Similarly, any materialistic person, however educated he may be, so-called educated, he is simply a snake, dangerous. That's all. There is no qualification. Rāva bhakta sakito mahadguna. One cannot have good quality unless one is advanced in Krishna consciousness. Yes. The harmful, foolish, and passionate cannot be devotees of the Lord, however they may advertise themselves as devotees by outward dress. A devotee is always qualified with all the good qualities of God. Quantitatively, such qualifications may be different, but qualitatively, both of them are one and the same. <laughs> 